Welcome back. Today we're continuing with the milling table and trying to remove this uh, Y coordinate section here. Um, we removed the holding screws from both sides. So unfortunately we don't have any video on that, but it was only uh, just a few M8 screws on both sides. Uh, two retaining plates holding it down. So hopefully we can now just lift this off and uh, start to disassemble it and clean it. We'll, con uh, we'll start off by removing this wedge. So this is, I think this one was a bit problematic last time, but we managed to get it out. So hopefully it sits quite loose now. After examining the slides, so these look pretty pretty okay, doesn't seem to be any excessive wear. But unfortunately we can see that on this uh, thread here that uh, feeds the, the table in the Y direction, we can see quite a lot of wear. So you can we can examine that more closely. But I think uh, we'll remove this part because this is the one that's driving the feed to the table. So removing this and removing the, the screw here, I think that will be a, a good thing to do since we have it op this much open already. And for the set direction, uh, feels very solid, so I don't think we will remove the table itself. I don't really see any point of doing that, since it's quite seldom uh, you move the, the table in this direction very often. So I think the wear comes from the X and Y since that has a feed on it. Right, we'll start off by removing this handle. Just secured with a pin. That came off easy. Next up is the that small screw here. So I think this is very similar to the, the other ones we have already loosened. First one, this one should slide right off. Yes. Uh, and then let's see, maybe 
I think the next step is then to see we have a pin here so let's try to to remove that and hopefully we can get it to to move let's see we have another hole here also I'm not really sure what that is if it's some kind of retaining screw or something but this let's see is that one or is it two hmm. It's a bit weird. <clears throat> Perhaps it's time for some brake cleaner. Yes, absolutely. So I'm not really sure why is it. So if that's pointing directly up, is it then okay? So it's spin it. Oh, the hundred dollar question is in which direction we should start first. Let's try this one. Does it have room to come off? I think you're hitting it the wrong way. Am I? Or? Not, not sure. Let's see. Yeah, I think you now it feels solid again. Maybe it's the same thing again. Yep. Do we think this will now come off? If we just... I'm not really sure what this hole, this hole is. Is it some kind of... Hmm. Let's try to move this to the back but and then... <coughs> can, we, can we now like spin it and unscrew it from this end? From the other end, by when the pin is loose, you know, if you try to screw it out, so it can. So you were thinking this part will come. No, I was thinking oh. if it can come loose from the other end. Um, hmm. uh, but isn't this? Actually, can we now tap it here? Wait, don't so wait this. A minute. <coughs> we shall take a. Short commercial break. Yes. We now decided to move to this end, so uh, it was connected to this rod, the the pin that we removed, and we decided to to now try to remove this, or just to have have this shaft, so that hopefully we can pull it out this way. Not really sure if it will work, but let's try. Uh, still something retaining it. We noticed that these holes are not actually screw holes for the for the cover, but they have screws inside them. So let's loosen those and hopefully we can get them then to. Make the shaft move. We don't 
don't have to remove them all the way. That should be. Let's see. Oh, come on. something hidden there. Hmm. It's, at least that's the one holding this gear in place, but I'm not Hmm. Is it in free now? In neutral now? Yes. Yes. I mean, <clears throat> you can clearly see there that yeah. you have like a retainer hole for that. Yes. Yes, I'm not really sure if you can see it on the camera, but. Let's just try to pull it to a little bit to the side. Yes, you can see it. Ah, okay. Yeah. So the dark area there is that is actually a slot or a small hole in the shaft. So for the retaining screw. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what then? What then? Let us know in the comments what you think. Mm hmm. Maybe we, did, we just have to continue with this one. See what happens. At least we'll have to try. Okay, so that's just a plate. I don't know. I'm not sure what's happening, but something's happening. Well, it's going out. Oh, well, perhaps it mangled it. No. Mm -hmm. So here it's 24. It's 24, more 25. But how could it move before then? Okay, so we move back to this shaft since we need more room for this uh, nut to get it loose and, and hold in it. So we think we'll now try to pry on this gear just to push the axle in this direction and hopefully get this uh, bronze bushing out. Ah, yes, okay. 
I didn't understand you. Okay. Also, oh, this was the slot you were wondering about. Yeah. Okay. Take the cover off. some damage on the end but should quite come off quite easily. Okay. I think the, the main problem is here once now that as you can see quite clearly here this is the normal thread or how it should and as it should look and this is the worn out thread so my idea is that when it's worn out the outer diameter has also also increased so the diameter is smaller on this end and bigger on this end so that's why the nut doesn't want to thread that easily but let's hope that we can just hold it easier now with the bigger pliers and get it moving okay so fast forwarding forwarding a few steps um, as we mentioned earlier we thought that this thread was uh, so worn out that the diameter was bigger so now we managed to just grind the thread down a bit and then to get the, the nut to move and uh, from this side then this housing was sitting like this and that was threaded onto this uh, thread here so once we managed to get it enough far to the left, then this one fell out. And on this side, uh, we had, let's see. So there was a, a smaller bushing ring like this, and also a bigger one like this here. And this part was between these two then. So in order to get this one out, I had to take these one also out. So hopefully we can now get this part or the nut over these last threads here and then we should just be able to pull it out so let's see Bump it. Let's see. This was a pain in the ass. The bearings out. Ta-da! Then we have it. The whole screw. It's now so oiled in, so I don't know if you can really tell how worn this one is, but here you can see a bit closer how wide the threads are here. Can you see it in the light? Yep. So how wide the threads are here and how narrow they are here. So this I think was the reason why it was pinching the nut. So let's see what we'll do with this one if we'll have to just replace it or if it's possible to somehow refurbish it. I'm not really sure but let's... time will tell. Mm -hmm. 